Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Zero, and welcome to Mogeko Castle, Part 6. Previously at Moge Castle, we escaped some Resident Evil ripoff hospital, and we managed to meet the God of Fluffiness just before heading to the next floor. This music reminds me of a sneaking mission. <laughs> Also, the Mogikos ran out of ideas and just started making long hallways. But then they... they really ran out of ideas and material and they just decided we didn't need any walls. Let's just put all of our stuff in the stairs. Don't need walls, right? OTP? So much for a library. I guess Mogikos don't read anything except porn. So their actual library is just a big empty room. A trap? That's how it always goes. I figured you'd be a little more unsubtle, but I guess when you're king, you don't have to care about making yourself look unique. I created this world so I can have all the cola to myself. Mogikos no need books. I had them burned. Ha! 
How's that too accurate? Okay, ah, ha, 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 ha. I still have the rocket launch air. And this time it'll actually work. Turns out the Mogego King was completely powerless and we just killed him. Did we? Blast the king so hard he left a giant blood trail? No, it's just normal. Mokiko Castle Room. By killing the Mokiko King, you destabilized the world. Yeah. Sorry, we just decided to make the sixth floor the same as floor one. We kind of ran out of ideas after the whole no walls thing and just stairs. Mogeko. Ghost of Mogeko? What? Oh. The hospital? You're too moy, the fake Mokiko. And your scars are cute too.
I like that ending. I, I, I wouldn't really consider that a bad ending, that's actually a pretty nice one. Mm hmm? It's the library. So the king didn't destroy the library, he just moved it past that uh, room of blood. The story of a married prosciutto. This finished encyclopedia. Oh, this is very helpful. I should have known. I read it for the articles. That white guy's a perv. Yeah, you guys all read books. Quality reading. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Prosciutto. Any different books here? No. You didn't say what kind of library this was. I think you'd consider this a little bit of a different kind of library due to its content. Okay, um... The library gave way to Chicken World. Oh, chicken cookbooks. Something different for once.
one bunch of bird brains. So the master librarian is a chicken, Mokiko. Mogei Cuckoo. And he makes chicken puns. Days. Tea, liquor, cola, and waffles. And prosciutto with porn. It's legit. Don't question it. Just an egg? A warp egg? Made by a Mogiko who happens to be a chicken? Okay, go. Cool. Was that a pun or was that a deaf scream? Maybe both. <laughs> I'll never forget you, Moge Cuckoo. I guess that's how the egg crumbles. Oh, so now you actually look distinct. I can only assume you're about to say this is my final form.
I kind of miss being chased by an army of Mogikos. Feels like we haven't done this in a while. And I have no idea if I made the right turn. This is what they call trial and error, children. Oh, they ain't over yet. Why do you guys like to re decorating with blood in your body so much? Oh. Did I make a right turn? I think I did. Probably not. But you know, it was the correct one. Okay. Not bad. He's pretty upbeat. This is a dead end, isn't it? Left, right, up, down, I don't know! While the idiotic King Mogiko cried, Yonaka and Defect Mogiko fled the scene. What will be their fate?
so dramatic. Except for the fact that most of your dialogue is consists of Mogiko. Yeah, I get you. Always be a manly badass hero in my eyes, Defect Mogiko. Godspeed, and protect those scars. They're a moy trait. Oh, I haven't seen you in a while. Can't really tell because you all look the same, but...
きまーWhen did you do that before all those other times we were being chased? Ah. Uh. So we finally find out what the portrait's about. Yet she knows the menu's changed again. Now she has tears in her eyes. The only friend gone. Just don't understand Moe. Moe is to protect, not to exploit.
The flames burned. Gfic Mogiko's body went up in flames. You really did distract him in the end. I think it's about time we end this. So that's it for part six. Definitely the most anime part of the game, I could say. The Mokikos kind of remind me of these characters from the anime Excel Saga. They're both these kind of goofy, perverted, quirky things that are yellow. And they also really break into these kind of very dramatic moments. And I almost imagine Mokiko is just putting on this very defined, realistic human face whenever they're talking dramatic and their voice pitch changes. So it goes from, I'm Mokiko! Two, it's nice to see you, old friend. Seems we can't lose each other. Mogeko? Either way, it's sad to see our old friend die, and he was definitely a loyal friend, and he probably the most friendliest of Mogekos. But at least he had a nice last stand, anyway. I'd probably consider the bad end with him probably the best ending in this game. I don't, I don't really see how you can top that as far as happiness. I guess it's only a bad end in the sense you don't find out what's going on or whatever, you just kind of run off from it. But it's not so bad, really. It's, it's pretty nice. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for part 7 of Mogeko Castle.